they would love, love to be able to land this young man, the number one cornerback in the class of 2012 out of South Florida, Miramar, Florida, Tracy Howard. He is down to three. Florida, Florida State, and Miami for the number one ranked cornerback in this class. And he joining us right now from his high school auditorium. I know he's got a lot of people there. He's ready to go. He's dressed to the nines and the nice, the nice suit and tie. They aren't giving away any school colors here. Uh, Tracy, how has the last 24 hours, even 12 hours since last night been for you? Oh, uh, the last 44 and 12 hours, I mean, it's been kind of hectic. You know, but uh, I just, you know, stay humble about it, you know, and just talk to my family and the people that have been close to me, you know, all my life, you know, and, you know, it's okay. Uh, I feel like I could take it. Before I ask you to, to show us where you're going to play, how long have you known the answer to that question? Oh, uh, I really just found out the answer to that question, you know, just praying about it, you know, asking God, you know, where should he lead me? And, uh... I mean, I thought I knew, you know, uh, some days I thought I knew, some days I thought I didn't, you know, but uh, I've been knowing it, you know, for quite some time now, but, you know, everybody going to see. All right, the number one cornerback in this class, the number 18 player in the ESPNU 150, Tracy Howard, go ahead and let us know where you will play your college football. Hey, Mom. Hey. <laughs> everybody be patient. <laughs> my best friend right here. I will be spending the next three to four years furthering my education and my athletic ability at the University of Miami. Tracy Howard going to the U. The University of Miami lands the number one ranked cornerback in the entire class. What was it about Miami, Tracy? Tracy, I know a lot of applause, a lot of noise. What was it, if you can hear me, what was it about Miami? Say it again? Yep, no. No problem. We'll let the applause die down a little bit. You're a popular young man today in Miramar, Florida. What was it about the University of Miami that made you choose them over everybody else, including Florida and Florida State? I, I told the University of Miami, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, I told the University of Miami, you know, because I, I looked at the overall picture of it, you know, from an academic standpoint, you know, to the opportunity standpoint, you know, uh, playing early, you know, that, that, that's a big part of it, you know, and the opportunity is, you know, greater than FSU, you know, uh, or, or UF, you know, so the opportunity is there, you know, I got a great bond with the coaches, you know, uh, I, I never base, base going to school, you know, off of somebody else, you know, I do it all off of what I think, you know, so it's just only a bonus, you know, that I got South Florida guys that I grew up with. Also going there, you know, so, you know, I already got a bond with those guys, so I feel like we could jail together, you know, and why, why not win, you know, in my hometown, in my city, you know, or why not do it there, you know. Tracy Howard. Tracy, when you, when you were there, you were visiting, you got to know these coaches, and it's still a relatively young coaching regime there at Miami. What impressed you the most about Al Golden, your new head coach? The thing that impressed me the most was the, the, the guy, he, he, has, he has a plan. You know, you, ha you have to have a plan be before you win, you know, before you be successful in life. You know, uh, I just bought into his plan, you know, and, you know, I'm ready to rock with Miami. All right, Tracy Howard, congratulations on everything that's come your way, and best of luck to you at the U. We appreciate it. Tracy Howard, number one cornerback in this class, going to Miami as we send it on back over to Reese Davis.